everyone. I'm Donna Bush with your news update here on CID TV. First today, there's not much time left for you to have your say on whether the Cayman Islands should adopt daylight savings time. A public survey from the Ministry of Commerce closes at midnight next Thursday. That's October the 30th. Daylight savings time is a practice where we would adjust our clocks one hour forward during the summer and back again in the fall. If you would like to have your say on whether this is something we should do, you can take the survey online at dci.gov.ky. Again, that's dci.gov.ky, and it's under the title, Introduction of Daylight Savings Time. The survey takes about three minutes to complete. Well, the number of chikungunya cases continues to increase in the Cayman Islands. Let's break it down district by district. Georgetown has seen nine cases, while six were in West Bay, three in Kim and Brack, five in Bodentown, two in Little Cayman, and one in Northside. 22 people reported a travel history to other countries experiencing outbreaks, two uh, to the Dominican Republic, three to Guyana, 16 to Jamaica, and one to St. Lucia. The number of locally transmitted cases remains at four. Of the 24 results awaited from the Caribbean Public Health Agency, 12 were received, 11 of these tested negative for chikungunya, of which one tested positive for dengue and one tested positive for chikungunya. Well, as Miss Cayman Islands contestants train and prepare for the big night in January, committee members are busy organizing the numerous events and getting sponsors. One big night ahead, it's called Beauty on Fire, and past committee chairperson Lynn Bodden and current chairwoman Derry Dakers Lee both explain more. This is our first official event of this, this season for our 2014-15 Miss Cayman, and it's the official sashing of all the contestants. And the White House is such a beautiful venue in Bodentown. I think it's going to be an amazing event. Come out and meet our contestants, see our contestants, meet the sponsors. It's the official sashing. We have great entertainment. We have a fire eater. We have music by Impulse Band and Renegade DJ. And it's just going to be a great night. Under the stars, outside, beautiful environment. Well, we'd like to thank the White House for their generous contribution uh, in sponsoring the venue for the Beauty on Fire, which is going to be on the 15th of November at 6 p.m. And we'd also like to take this opportunity to thank uh, some other sponsors, uh, the uh, uh, sponsors for the contestants. Uh, without them, of course, uh, this would not be possible. And that is Star 92.7, EFG Bank, Guardian Group BIS, Puritan Cleaners, Kirk Freeport, Kirk Home Center, Premier Fiduciary Services, and the Credit Union. And we'd like to use this opportunity and in having this uh, event to actually build, continue to build our relationship with the financial sector and uh, obviously uh, encourage them to come on board. And you can purchase tickets for what promises to be an amazing event from committee members. Well, if you missed today's news update, you can always get the details on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. And we invite you to tune into Radio Cayman's For the Record show, which you can watch only here on CIG TV on Monday and Friday nights at 8 o'clock. Also, don't forget, talk today. That's with Sterling Dwayne Ebanks, also on Radio Cayman, weekdays at 12.15. As always, I'm Donna Bush, thanking you for joining us, hoping you'll have a wonderful night and that you'll join us here again tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye for now.